Hey y'all, welcome back to Moments with Miss Amy. I am so glad you joined me. As you can tell, we are in a different location today as I shoot this video. My husband and I actually took a couple of days in the middle of the week and just made it kind of special. We came and got a hotel, came down and saw our daughter. Uh, she lives a few hours from us. And um, then we actually went, we had dinner together, and we also went to the gun range and had fun shooting. Um, so definitely was a great evening. It was my first time shooting in a long time uh, after my car accident and the surgeries that I had. It's been a long time since I've been able to do that. And uh, just doing some target shooting, which is just, I don't know, it's fun. It's, it's for me, it's challenging. You know, it's like I, I shoot and then I've got the... The paper that's hanging there, I'm not technical in any manner. But anyways, whatever that paper is, we bring it up. And so, you know, I'm trying to remember, like, which one of those shots that are in there that happened this time or the time before? Am I getting closer? Am I getting it more on point? And, and so I started, like, taking a photo so that I could see what I had done so that the next time I pulled the paper forward, I could see what I had done and if I, you know, improved on it and whatever. And, and that's one of the things. It's funny because within our family, we definitely are uh, competitive, not like in a sports getting out there you know about the only one that's really into sports would be our son <laughs> um, and uh, even that's kind of changed a little bit as he's gotten older but definitely competitive on trying to continually do better than we have done before and I love to not just compete against each other because I do feel that while that is important it's also important to compete against myself as in am I moving on am I being better than what I was previously how much further can I push myself how much further can I go and so that to me was just a lot of fun it was really great tonight to be able to get out and do that and then to go and enjoy some amazing dinner together and enjoy just some time quality time you know with family so it was a great night we had a really good time and uh, I just thought you know this would be a good time for me to pop on and talk to you guys a little bit and and uh, be able to do one of my videos and so that's that's what I'm doing here and the scripture that popped into my head, because, you know, you know I'm going to do a scripture, y'all. But the um, scripture that, like, I was scrolling through and looking at and, and thinking about peace and thinking about how this time of year is so busy, so crazy. There's so much going on as we're rolling into the holidays. I can't believe it, but 2022 is just literally right around the corner. I mean, days away. And so sometimes there's a lot that's happening in our lives that, keeps us from feeling peace. And so I looked up a scripture on it. And so this is the one I'm going to give to you. And I really kind of think that this is a great scripture, not just to hold on to, but it's also a great scripture to be able to share with others, to be able to promote to others. And so this scripture is 2 Thessalonians 3.16. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Have you ever been in a situation where you just felt so much peace and so much contentment and, and happiness that you just didn't wanna leave that moment? I can tell you, I certainly have. And then I've also felt times that I like could have searched everywhere within me and don't know how I would have found peace. Things were just like, Wah, too chaotic and too much craziness or too hard and, and too hurtful and too challenging and, and, and trying to find that peace was hard to do. And, and then I've also had times that I was going through really tough things, things that hurt, things that saddened me, things that were just really a struggle and yet I would have peace. And in some ways that just seemed almost like a, I don't know, like a contradiction. Like, how can I be dealing with all of this that's going on around me? All of this sadness or this fear or just stress and yet still feel a peace within. And that's where that scripture comes in. For me, having my relationship with Jesus, with my higher power, is what gives me peace. And knowing that I can rely on him to be there and love me and, and care for me and provide that peace, even though things are really crazy, is a way that I am able to function and to move along and to feel good and feel peace. But it takes, I believe, not just that relationship with him, but I think that it also takes that understanding that, you know what, 
no matter what, you're going to be okay. No matter what, you're going to get through whatever it is that's going on. Because sometimes we feel like whatever it is that's going on is so much and so overwhelming that things can't possibly get any worse. And yet sometimes they do get worse. Or sometimes we'll feel that way and then when things settle, we look back on it. And then perhaps you realize that it really wasn't quite as rough or challenging or whatever as you thought that it was going to be. Because that could happen too. But one of the things that I found to be able to have that peace within me, no matter what it is that I'm going through, is when I take and just intentionally remind myself that I'm going to be okay. Whatever it is that's happening, whatever it is that's going on, me totally freaking out isn't going to change the situation. It's not going to make it better. It's not going to stop it from happening. Um, I know there's some people who believe that if we worry about everything, that the things that we worry about aren't going to come to pass. But honestly, worrying isn't what's stopping them from coming to pass. Worrying is just taking your life and causing you to, to live kind of in a negative state of fear and worry. Instead of having peace and, and knowing that whatever this is, this too shall pass and that we're going to be okay. And so that's one of the things I just, I really felt like I wanted to come to you and talk to you about today is, is to try to try to give you peace and to tell you that I would love for you to have peace and, and to tell you that for me, my peace comes from Jesus, my higher power. And that knowing him and knowing that he's got me. And I understand that things don't always work out perfect. I understand that things aren't always amazing. You know, that certainly is the case. There's not always a win at the end. You know, sometimes we lose. Sometimes things are sad. Sometimes things happen that we really don't want to deal with and don't want to go through. But even in the midst of all of that, we have a choice to have peace or not. And, and I find that when I, when I choose to have peace, when I choose to look at something knowing that I'm going to make it through this, that suddenly it's not as hard to go through whatever it is. And so that's what I want to give to you. These holidays are coming up. And for some people, these holidays are scary because you're going to be getting around a bunch of people and you haven't done that since the pandemic. For some of them, it's hard. You've lost loved ones and now you're going to be facing this holiday without them. For some, there's distance because you're not getting together with everybody like you have in the past. I mean, there's all kinds of things. There's financial and the stress of getting things and trying to order things and some stuff being out of stock and, and all of these different things. But I would like if you could just take a moment and take a breath and realize that all of these things are things that you can get through, that you will get through. And that peace, even though sometimes peace doesn't feel like happiness all the time, there still is that peace that you can have just knowing you're all right, you're loved, and you're going to make it through. And so I guess that's really what I want to share with you, that you are all right, you are loved, and you are going to make it through. What are some different things that I can suggest to you to help you to have more peace? Well, first of all, I know in some of my other videos, I talked about not cutting things too close and not stressing yourself out on time-wise. That's definitely a good one over the holidays to remember. Add a little cushion of extra time for anything that you're doing so that you're not pushing it, so you're not putting yourself in a dangerous position, and also so that you're not feeling as stressed out as you're trying to rush to wherever. Another thing is, you know what? There are material gifts. There are things out there that people want and that we would love to give, but you need to also realize that sometimes putting yourself in a position where you're spending more than you think you should is not the best way to show someone your love. A lot of times, most of us are more appreciative of something that maybe didn't cost as much, but had a whole lot of thought and effort put into it. 
one of the things I've seen come across social media and I think is such a great idea is actually doing more of a memory type of gift than just a monetary gift. I love the idea of that. What can you do that's going to capture the moments and the memories and to make it something special, a gift that keeps on giving? Um, another thing that we can do is to make sure that we're intentional about our self, about our mental health, our personal health, our physical health. Make sure that you're drinking water, even though you're around all of these fun and yummy Christmassy things. You know, make sure that you're including water in your daily. It's hot out a little bit down here in Florida, but not as much. We're dealing with more of the chillier weather. And I find that because of that, sometimes I have a harder time making sure that I'm keeping up my water. So one of the things that I've added is my herbal tea. And to make sure that I carry that with me because it's got me drinking at least you know, an herbal tea with a little bit of honey and water and hot water in it um, is doing better than, you know, grabbing a soda or something. So making sure that you're getting rest. That's another thing. When holidays are around, it seems like we get spinning out and running and we forget to take rest and to have time to rejuvenate. So these are all some things that I think can help us move towards having more peace during this time. And... And that's what I want for you. So this holiday season, I wish you peace. If you haven't already joined and subscribed, please do so. Make sure you click that bell and that way you'll know when my next video drops. Don't forget to click like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I want to thank you again for joining me for Moments with Miss Amy.